What's up everyone? I am Jamie with Three Little Goats Homestead and we are standing in my office today which means we are going to be making some soap. So if you are new here I make a lot of goat milk soap. We raise Nigerian dwarfs. I use my freeze-dried goat milk to make our soaps. It just makes my my life a little bit easier doing it that way. I do have videos showing how to do it the more traditional way if you want to check those out. But today we are going to be doing a cold process soap and we're going to be doing a lilac scented soap which if you guys know me is not one of my favorite scents but since a lot of people at the farmer's market always ask me for a more florally scented soap we are going to go ahead and make one today so without further ado let's get into it all right y'all so it's time to make some soap if you guys have been around for a while you know florals are not my favorite soaps to make I find that most fragrances don't behave well and I am just not a fan of floral scents. But I've had a lot of requests at markets for some more florally scents. So today I'm breaking down and we are making a lilac soap. So I'm using True Lilac from Crafter's Choice. And then for the colorant, I am using a combination of Queen for a Day from Nurture Soap and Pow Pow Purple from Mad Micah's. And I've already mixed some up with some of the oil from our batter. And then in here, I've already combined my oils, my butters, and then I use kaolin clay, freeze-dried goat milk from our Nigerian dwarfs, as well as freeze-dried beer in all of our soaps. So that's already been incorporated, so it is time to get soaping. So let's give her a good burp and add in our lye water solution. And I'm just going to bring this to a slight trace. Alrighty. So it is raining here right now, so if you hear loud noises, it's because I have a metal roof on my office and it is raining. So. All right, if you find a clean bowl. All right, so I've got a container here. I'm gonna pour off a good portion of my batter. And then I'm going to hope that my fragrance oil plays well, but first I'm going to actually add in my colorant. I'm going to add all my colorant into this one. And let's try not to make a big mess because I may have put a little bit too much batter in this container. All right. I'm just going to give this. Let's not make a big old mess, but we will anyway. It's my theme song because if you guys have been around my soap making videos, you know it's not a soap making day unless I make a big huge mess. All right, fingers crossed this fragrance plays nice because if I have to smell it in my office, at least be enjoyable to make. I don't know why, I just I don't like floral scents. I mean, no shade to those who love them. I think it's because as a child, I have, since I was a child, I've always had just horrible, horrible allergies. So I associate flowers with my demise. So I'm gonna pour some of this purple in. And again, without making a big old mess, I'm gonna add in some of this white to lighten it up a bit. Now I know this is still pretty thin. So we're gonna kinda do a drop swirl layer. Because your girl's too impatient to do a layered soap. I just 
I've tried. I just don't have the patience for it. I love the look of layered soaps, especially when they, it's got like the nice crisp, clean lines. But just the time. I don't, I don't have the time, nor do I have the energy, especially with this brace on my neck. Maybe once I'm back to 100% and I don't have a giant brace on my neck and I don't have a super sore shoulder, I will get back to making more intricate and fun designs. But for now, I'm tired. <laughs> We're just gonna pour this, the rest of this, majority of that in. And then I'm just going to do white on top. Fun fact, I bought new molds. Have I washed them to use them yet? No. Will I wash them to use them this week? Probably not either. So between like I said, between being in this brace, plus we're, we are right smack dab in the middle of kidding season. Um, this video will probably come out well after that, but literally was getting ready to film this video and getting everything ready for the soaps. And I checked the camera and oh, snow was in labor. So, so that is literally in the middle kidding season. So, all right. Where's my paper towel? I don't have any paper towel. I swear one day I'm just going to do a video of how much I talk to myself that doesn't actually get put into the videos. And it's usually me ask me asking myself where I put something because I can never remember. Still a little too thin to texture too much. That's fine. We're going to texture just a little bit of the, that half. Do I have... There's not the right drawer. I have a drawer full of dried flowers. I didn't even check to see if I had lilacs. I don't. I have lavender, but I'm making a lavender soap, so those will go on that. So we're going to get this a spritz of some rubbing alcohol. And we're going to let this hang out for 24 to 48 hours. And when it's ready to cut, I will bring y'all back. Alrighty, y'all. So it is soap cutting day. And I have been cutting soap for a little while now. I've got a bunch of soaps that I have finished up. And I've been putting this one off because she's still a little bit soft. I think it's because we have had a ton of humidity and rain the last few days. And... I didn't really do a water discount on this loaf, so hopefully I don't destroy it by cutting it too soon, but we will, we'll see. All right, and there we go. You can kind of see, it doesn't pick up on camera, there is a lighter purple swirl in there, but for some reason the camera just is not picking that up. But if you like florals, it smells amazing. I'm just not a big floral scent kind of girl. I wanna say it looks like I may have gotten a partial gel. Yeah, in person, it doesn't look like much of a partial gel, but on camera, it looks like a partial gel. Gotta love cameras, right? So this loaf is done. So it will go on the curing rack for a few weeks and then we will package her up and she'll be ready to go for the market. So I'll see you guys in the outro. 
All right, y'all. So that is what I've got for you guys today. Let me know down in the comments if there are particular scents that you just do not like, whether it be floral or sweet or more like masculine scents. I'm always interested to see like what scents people absolutely hate and which ones they, they really love. So leave those down in the comments below. And if you liked this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really does help. And if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, we put out new videos every single week. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.